everyone, today I'm going to basically be doing a, um, GAR guide. Well, if you don't know what GAR is, it's basically the main group in Grant, uh, on Star Wars Coruscant where you can basically be, become troop, clone troopers, one of these guys on screen. Not exactly these guys, but some, someone similar. Like, I'm going to show you real quick what what you're actually going to be benefiting and I'm basically just going to be doing a guide on how to rank up how to d do things in GAR like rank up get power um what is it another one uh, of course what team killing and all that stuff means and stuff like that so mm, all TK and RK what all that means the rules of basic rules about GAR and everything how to get into divisions and basically this is a full tutorial because the thing is is I've seen um, cadets that are new to the game just asking divisions and the divisions can't really explain very well because um, the Roblox chat filter so yeah so basically, once you join the guard group, you'll look like this, cadet. you look like a nice cadet here. Um, and then once you rank up, you'll look like this trooper here. And then you can go through the ranks. So, um, yeah, basically, I'm going to start off with the basics. Um, so, um, what you're going to need for this um, tutorial is Roblox of course so for this first part the requirements you need are Roblox and you must have a Roblox account yeah mm, that that's basically it so what you're gonna want to do if you want to join the if you want to become a trooper and everything and if you don't want to be um, an immigrant and and you don't want to have to cross the border and you want to actually control the border well basically what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go to the game like to get out of the game and go to the like game page here you're gonna see Star Wars course on everything and so right in the description right here it literally says right here become a trooper become a clone trooper and there's a link right here to the group you can click that or if that if you're if you're too blind to see that you can go down, and if your account is 13 plus, you will be able to see the Become a Clone Trooper social link. And if you're too blind to see that, then there's another way you can do it. There's this thing called Buy Gar Grand in the Republic. You can click that. So I'm just going to click that, and it should it should um, take you to this group. Um, it should be Gar Grand Army of the Republic, and there should be like line separating Gar and everything like that. And it should be by Rainy, Rainy, and, um, yeah, and it should have this description if you want to read it. Um, but basically how you're gonna, how you're gonna do, uh, how you're gonna basically, do, after basically how you're going to, how you join it, is there should be a join button, you should click it, and you either go through the verification something or it just allows you in and it should say sent request uh, like it says it should say at the join button it should change from join group to um cancel requ request and uh basically what that means is that um you sent a request to the gar group to join and then they're gonna do some checks just to make sure you're not a scam bot or anything and then after a few hours or so, you should be able to, you, you should be automatically let in. Um, now, once you're in, you should see this thing here that says rank. And your rank should be cadet. Um, now, here, here, here's, like, if you really, really just don't know, you, you can just look at the group wall. It says after clicking the join, yeah. Then, and you should you earn power points by playing the game the longer you play the more points you get and the higher rank in the higher rank your rank so yeah if you're, if you're still confused just read this little part that rainy the oak group owner um put in here and that should kind of clear it up a little more 
but yeah, once you're in the group, um, once you're in the group, you should be join, you should be able to join the game, and you should have the cadet morph. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, so that's how you basically get into the guard group. Um, the next really big question I see cadets ask all the time is, how do I rank up? How do I get a gun? How do I be blue? How do I be red? How do I be yellow? And, um, poor division elves have to answer those questions. So, um, basically how you do that, um, so I'm gonna basically first go over how you rank up. So, um, for this you, of course, uh, for the requirements for this, um, this section is basically you just need to be able to play Gar, Coruscant, and you must be in the in their group, and you must be at least a cadet or higher. Um, most likely, if you are higher ranked than cadet, you most likely know how to rank up, and you can just skip this part. So yeah. Um, if we load in here, then I'll be actually able be able to show you. Um, it's taken a while. Oh, come on. There we go. But yeah, basically I'm going to mute the boom, boom boxes. Um, but basically, um, I'm going to respawn. So once you're in game, you should be a cadet. You should be a cadet. And once you... Oh God, stop spawning me here. So yeah, once you're in game, you should be a cadet. And you... Okay, I'm just going to make my way over there. Um... But you should spawn in the spawn room. Now, basically how you, like, um, and your name should be under the guard section on the, uh, what is it, on the, on the leaderboard. So, yeah. And, as a cadet, you should look like this morph here, and it should say Grand Army of the Republic Cadet, and it should say your name. So, yeah, that's what you should look like right there, cadet. Um person's open carrying um but yeah basically ah uh hey 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 hey, hey man, man, man no so yeah basically as a cadet you should spawn in here you should spawn in here um and you should look like this person right here you should look like that and uh, so what you're basically gonna want to do to rank up is you're gonna want to go over here to click me if you want a promotion and then it should say clone trooper talk to me to purchase um go in here and basically it should say you have however much power and basically at cadet you should only have one power you should have one power automatically if you want to rank up to trooper, you need three power. So basically, you just need two more power, and you will be trooper. Um, now, if you have three power, but you're not getting your new rank, you must rejoin. You must leave and rejoin, and and so on and so forth. So as you keep going up the ranks, you need a certain amount of power. Check your power in this area again. If you don't know where that is, you spawn in, facing this way. Just turn around. And it should be right here, next to the door, right here, and everything. And you open it up, and it should it should say how much power you have. Now, I do not suggest purchasing any power. If you want to speed the run the game, then yeah, do it. But if I would not suggest doing it, because you can just get free ranks for free, just by spending time in game. Now, um, usually it takes 30 minutes to r get one power. So, how you can check your time. Um, is it says time spent in game up here and it should say how much time you've spent in game now that's basically how you rank up but you're looking over here and seeing all the divisions and how cool they look and everything and you've seen them around the border and seen how cool they look and everything and you want to be a division I'm gonna go over that now so basically how you be a di how you become a division now is First off, you gotta be in the guard group. Of course, you gotta be a guard. And the requirements for this section are, you must have Roblox, of course, and your Roblox account must be 13 plus, and you must be 13 plus, or else you will get kicked, um, out of 
the area you get, um, like, out of the area where you become a division. So, yeah. Basically, once your account is 13 plus, you'll be able to go to the guard group. Once you're in the guard group, and you're going to scroll down and you should see social links tab. And then it should say, join the communicator. Click that. You just click it. And it should take you to Discord. Now, here in Discord, it's you're, all you're going to see up here is verify. And another channel you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to see all these channels except for the pull one you'll be able to see all of them all of them but basically you're gonna want to click verify so when you click verify there should be like a mm, there eh, if you're confused on how to verify basically how you do this is um just go ju just go to the how to verify section and read this I know it's a lot of reading but if you want to if you really want to do this you should once you verify all of these channels should open up if you're in the guard group now um basically the main area you're going to focus on if you want to join a, a division is the community information tab down here you, there's the events the recruitment tab all that you're, if you want to attend events like trainings and everything to gain power, then that's totally up to you. But if you want to, if your main focus is the divisions, you're going to want to focus on the recruitment tab. Here, um, division divisionals that are high enough rank will post their applications. Um, now, some ap applications require you to be. Um, to be like a certain rank and gar and everything like that but usually it'll say like the requirements over here like under here and everything and so yeah sadly the only downside is you cannot be on mobile you can be on mobile if you if you just want to be hang out in the discord server however you cannot be on mobile to apply for uh, to to train for divisions sorry um but that's just how it is i'm not sure if that's still if that's still um the case but that's how it was when i first joined guard so yeah um you can check out all the other channels basically these channels are for community use only and then utilization here basically if you want to check your power through through discord you just want to do semicolon and then power and then the guard bot should tell you how much power you have and then if you want to update your status and guard and see if you got any new ranks you're gonna you're gonna want to do semicolon update there you go and it should say updated your guide perks so yeah so yeah if you're new to discord i would definitely go find a tutorial on how to use discord and everything but yeah so that's how you be an, in a division. I'm going to get out of here. Bop. And then. So that's how you're in. That's how you uh, join to be a division L member. Now, I can't really tell you about what you do. Well, um, all I I can't really tell you what what happens as a division L member because that's classified, and also I don't really know. So, but if you kind of want to, if you kind of want a little insight, you can do, go to the affiliates tab on the main guard group, and there's all these different divisions here. And yeah, uh, let's say you're interested in the 501st, the 501st Legion. You just click on that, and it should say 501st Legion of it, and then it should say information. The 501st is an infantry division of the Grand Army of the Republic. The division is a ba uh, the division is a battle hardened, and the troopers within present a unique ability to work as a team. And then it says duties: attending raids, patrolling, requirement requirements, able to work as a team, discipline, activity, grammar, trooper plus. So yeah. So that's basically how the these are the all the groups, and so basically you can just do that and look through all the groups, see which one fancies you. Now, 
some groups are main divisions like the 187th, 7th Sky Corps, 91st, 41st. All these ones are all main divisions. All of these ones. However, some of them are subdivisions like the Advanced Recon Commandos. If you click this, it is a subdivision. Basically, the Advanced Recon Commandos are subdivisions of other divisions. So basically, the Advanced Recon Commandos are um, specially trained soldiers for the Grand Army Republic. Um, now, what the subdivision means is you can be in a main division, like let's say the 187th, and you can be in the Advanced Recon Commandos at the same time. And what this basically will do is you can combine the two morphs morph so you'll have the purple markings of the 187th but you'll have some of the gear that the advanced recon commanders have so yeah very cool very cool and yeah of course you got to join the discord server and all that stuff um discord is free so is roblox so you won't be spending any money you should not be spending any money to get into a division or play guard or anything unless you want to buy a game pass now another thing is is I don't know but maybe some people don't know how to get uh, how to be like how to become like uh what is it a raider or something you want to fight against Gar and you want to try to destroy the border well basically you're going to need a little bit of robux for that so under the store tab there's all these different game passes and everything and I'm gonna basically go over the classes. The classes are like B1, Mandalorian, Yoda, Lord Dooku, B2, Special Forces. Um, I'm not gonna be going over any of the individual ones. Um, but yeah, basically, these ones here are, they have rules. Yes, I know, it may sound weird, but there's rules to what you can do. So if you're in the Gar group, there a lot of people if you you might hear the term off duty rating and a lot of people say that's really bad and it kind of is it's against the rules so i was definitely confused about this i was like what does this mean am i going to get banned am i mean for off duty rating and i don't even know what off duty rating is basically <laughs> what this means is that you buy one of these game passes let's say let's say you buy the special forces game pass when you has special forces you start killing gar randomly this is basically off-duty raiding you cannot you cannot raid as a special forces you as a special forces and you cannot raid as yoda however you can raid as lord dooku b2 commander mandalorian and b1 raider you can you can raid as those basically what off-duty raiding means is you're in the gar group and you buy the special forces or yoda game pass then you go on a rampage on the clone troopers. That is not okay. You can't do that. However, if you are in the guard group and you, let's say, own the Mandalorian pass, and you become a Mandalorian and you start killing clone troopers and everything, that is fine. Lots of people will say it's against the rules and everything. To my knowledge, it's not. However, it might be, so I don't know. Up to you, but from what I know, it is not is not bad to raid as a raider raider game pass so ra raider game pass are again the b1 raider mandalorian lord dooku and b2 commander these are the only game passes you can raid as and these are the only game passes you can use to off-duty raid special forces and yoda however you cannot so just to make myself clear that the, the those are what you are doing next the rules for game uh, for the game so basically those those are the rules for the game passes another more rules is there's a no team uh, no tk policy and the no rk policy now basically team K, uh, tk is team kill tk stands for team kill basically what you do, it basically how this works is let's say you're in gar and you just accidentally kill one of your teammates you kill another gar member it should say at the top of your screen mm, you have to stop team killing or something like that 
And that basically means you get one warning. If you get three warnings, you will be banned from the game and demoted. You will be banned for only a short amount of time, though. You will not be banned forever. Beware. But once you're unbanned, you will be demoted. Which basically means you'll be you'll lose your current rank and be pushed down to the lo to a rank lower than yours. So th that's team kill covered. Next is random kill or RK. RK is basically when you're in the in you when you're a clone trooper when you're a clone trooper and you, you join the game and you just start randomly killing immigrants, raider, well, immigrants. So you basically, you join the game as a guard member, you're a trooper, you get your gun out and just start going on a rampage on immigrants, uh, on immigrants and just randomly killing them. That is bannable. However, you do not get warnings. So, you, you do not get warnings. So, most people's arguments are, oh, I can't get banned for it because I don't get a warning. This is not true. You will, if you are caught by a high rank or reported by someone that sees you random killing, you can get banned. This is, so make sure you follow the rules at all times. Um, more rule info is in the GAR Discord server under information billboard. But yeah, that's kind of it I covered in this video. Um, how to rank up how to get into a division, the game pass rules, and basically the overall GAR rules. And also, and yeah, I also um, covered how to become a trooper slash cadet. So yeah, hopefully everyone did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a like, and if you enjoyed this type of content, please subscribe. If you still have questions or anything, join our Discord server and ask it. Or just DM me on Discord and, and ask me a question you have about GAR or any other thing that you just need to ask a question about. But anyways, bye.